Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my avocado hair mask. Keep on watching. I have one full avocado. I have an egg. I have some mayo, some extra virgin olive oil, and some lemon juice. Mixing bowl. And I'm going to open up the avocado. do one spoon of mayo, a spoon of olive oil, because I'm also using some real 100% lemon juice, do a spoon of this as well, actually you know what, I think I'm going to do two spoons of this, it's disgusting, really, it is, look at this, and let me get my mixing. actually looks really nice nice and green by the way I took like an old t-shirt and I just put it over my shoulders because I don't want any of that nasty I don't want this nasty mix to get all over me surprisingly it doesn't even smell that bad it just smells like avocado like you can literally just serve this to somebody always make sure to brush your ends um, and then like work your way up because you don't want to damage your hair so what I usually do is like I'll grab my hair and just kind of brush the ends and then go up to the top and then brush fully through I guess just apply it to your dry hair like this from the scalp to the ends from the scalp to the ends that I'm Puerto Rican and both my parents are Puerto Rican and my mom is she you would think she's Italian she's so like her hair is so soft so straight like it does not curl at all um, and my dad is a darker Puerto Rican man so his hair is um, more textured I guess you can say Ew, it's falling off naturally my hair came out pretty um like in both sides like my hair can go from straight like i can straighten it it won't naturally straight straighten itself like my mom like she wakes up and her hair is already like you would think she was in the salon and um my dad well yes like my hair is you know is not like that but my hair can kind of go either either way you know it can either go really really straight if i straighten it or curly as and I didn't really know how to take care of my hair when I was growing up you know like I'm gonna insert some pictures so you guys can kind of see my hair journey from when I was like younger not like young young but like when my curls were really at their prime it was when I started college my curls were really beautiful like really tight um, nice and defined moisturized like really well taken care of and my mom has been my hairstylist since I was like little. She's the only person that cuts my hair. Um, I don't let any really. I don't really don't let anyone else cut my hair. She's, you know, she always used to blow a dry it for me. And any hairstyle I've ever wanted, she's done it for me. She's always done my layers. Uh, she does my trims, everything. So I remember when I, before I had turned 24, I remember saying that I wanted to dye my hair blonde for my birthday, which I'll also insert a clip here for you guys to see. I remember I wanted to dye my hair blonde because I I used to see so many like IG curly haired models with blonde hair and I never really looked into it and I thought that the balayage method would be the safest for my hair but because once again my mom didn't really know what to do because she's not a professional hairstylist but in my eyes she is um, but you know so she she just was trying to do the best that she could for me Oh, this is dry back here and she dyed it 
well she bleached it i i let her bleach my hair i bought the stuff so she could bleach it and then she just kind of kept warning me like are you sure you want to do this and i was like yeah like for sure like do this like i want my hair blonde whatever whatever right so i never had i never dyed my hair up until that point so i didn't really know what to expect and not to sound completely naive obviously right because i've seen other people dye their hair but you know because she wasn't a professional and she she's never really had to dye curly hair and then it, the curls still be intact we didn't know how bad it was going to really damage my hair and when i tell you guys when i tell you guys it damaged my curls i used to cry almost every every time i tried doing curly hair it was literally like saddest time of my life and i'm gonna try to find like i said i'm gonna try to insert clips of my hair so you guys can see what i'm talking about and i'm sorry for that water sound of my neighbor he's always showering for some reason um always which is not a bad thing but my living room is right like my tv wall and my living room is his shower wall so every time he's in the bathroom like that's all you hear so annoying anywho so i dyed my hair it messed up my curls and i was completely devastated like i just remember being so sad like crying all the time but i had already dyed way too much of my hair like way too much of my hair to like just kind of cut it off like my it was kind of it was dyed almost up to like right here almost to my scalp almost to my roots and I just remember saying, well, you know what? I'm gonna just rock the blonde. Around April, May, I cut it the first time. My hair was already long enough, like up to like right here. And the blonde was already like kind of down here. Like it was enough for me to cut my hair, but I still had blonde in my short hair. So that was my first big chop ever. I would insert a picture. And I thought that with that, automatically my hair was gonna be completely curly again. So I started doing curly hair um, styles and my curls were still not flourished enough and I was so sad and I'm just like, oh my God, I lost my curls forever. Like I'm never going to be able to curl my hair again. Like I was completely devastated, completely devastated. I could not believe what I had did to my hair. Um, so my mom, you know, of course, being the great mommy that she is, she kept, you know, encouraging me and telling me, you know, don't get discouraged. Just keep just keep waiting for your curls to come in because I, I wanted to cut my hair again like right away until there was no more blonde left but she told me to just wait till my hair grew out a little bit more um so i i waited like maybe a couple of more months maybe like four to five more months and my hair was already a little longer so i cut it again and this time i managed to get all of the blonde out and in getting all of the blonde out <clears throat> it made a huge huge difference in my hair and not only that but i had also refrained from using heat um in the time that my hair was kind of short and fast forward to now what are we what month are we in we're in july so it didn't take too long my hair grows pretty quickly thank god um so it didn't take too long for you know the transitioning of it but it was a long process i'm not gonna lie like it felt pretty tedious like i went through a lot of crying a lot of tears like i was suffering you guys suffering i don't know what i'm doing here by the way and i know if you're watching this you're probably like oh my god what is she doing i don't know what i'm doing so you guys are on this journey with me right now um so yeah that's pretty much my story with my hair so no you don't get your curls overnight so if you did the big chop stay persistent guys just keep going like don't give up on your on yourself don't give up on your hair try not to give in to temptation of like straightening it or you know blow drying it like applying heat all the time to your hair because you're you think it's ugly the way it is right now like embrace your short hair embrace your chop if you did the chop for your curls specifically if you did the chop just to do the chop then enjoy your chop but if you did the chops because if you did the chops if you did the chop because you want your hair to get back to curly or if you're like naturally curly haired and you've damaged it throughout the years with straightening it i would suggest to wait it out either if you're patient enough to wait it out and let the curls come in like a little longer you can kind of cut all that dead end 
that dead hair off because there's usually really sh stringy uh, hair and then it's really curly on the top. Like I would suggest to wait, wait it out, let your hair grow and then cut it or cut it now and just stick through the process and you'll see like, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see the difference. Like it's all a process. It's like losing weight, right? Like you're not gonna just lose weight in a week or overnight it's a process it's a process so stay patient so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a bag over my head so that it can like soak up in there and i'm gonna leave it in for about i would say like 30 minutes an hour i don't really know like i said it's my first time and then i'll wash it out and detangle my hair and then i'll make um, I'll show you guys in the morning. Definitely, I would recommend it. I know I haven't taken it out yet, but I know avocado is really good for the hair anyways. Try it at home. Um, let me know if you guys like it. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, honestly. Like, if you guys like this hair stuff, like, I could do that. I'm not a hair, curly hair expert. There's some girls that take it real seriously, and kudos to them. I'm not one of those girls, unfortunately. But... I can be. If you guys really like that stuff, I can be. Keep on watching for the finished results. I have so much avocado all over me. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I'm super basic. Like, I'm super basic. I don't really do too much on my face. And I do the same exact routine on my hair. But I feel like the avocado mask gave it a nice shine. It's not dry yet. It's definitely not dry yet. I, I have to run out of here. I'm late. But um, I love it. It feels nice and fluffy. It feels clean. It feels healthy. So, with that being said, try the avocado mask. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to comment that down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video if you like. And keep being beautiful.